into the crowd. That is unconfirmed now. It has, it has gone out on the wire service, so we feel we should tell you that much about it. Obviously, our people are trying to find out uh, exactly now. Let's go down to Al Troutwig with Hard Luck, Mario Andretti. Thank you, Jim. Mario, what kinds of thoughts have you been able to accumulate in your mind after talking to your crew and thinking about what happened to you today? Well, we're just trying to figure out what actually did happen. It looks like uh, the fuel system pitched on us all of a sudden. We're just out of the blue. Everything was working just absolutely beautiful. I mean, the car was perfect. And, and uh, just all of a sudden, between three and four, I felt the backfire through the system, and uh, and it was that. So when when I come in to try to start it, there was just fuel pouring out of it. So just a fuel management system that fits. There must have been a moment today when you had your hands on the wheel and you said to yourself, "It feels like this is mine today." <laughs> well, it felt as good as I ever had here. Uh, the car was perfect. It's an absolute tribute to the crew. They gave me a perfect car today, and. I don't think that uh, anyone could have done anything with us as long as everything was running. And that Chevy engine was running just absolutely beautiful. It's not the fault of the engine. It's just accessories that went, and uh, it's a shame. Mario, thank you for taking the time to talk to us. To Jim McKay. Well, you would have to say that the winners here today were Lady Luck and Father Time. Lady Luck, of course, and Father Time, the experience and the age of Al Unser Sr., the oldest winner in the history of the Indianapolis 500. As for the others, let's take a look at the field here. Roberto Guerrero had to learn something when he stalled his car coming out of the pit. A great rookie race for Barbazza finishing third. Here are some of the other finishers. Andretti finished ninth, as you saw. Danny Sullivan, 13th. All unofficial, by the way. And uh, there you see Gordon Johncock down in 22nd. A.J. Foyt dropped out. He finished 19th. Davy Jones, his protege, was down there. And the uh, last finisher, George Snyder, he dropped out on the first lap. So that is the story from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway on a beautiful May afternoon.